All right, so let's have a look at acid rain. Um, this is the result of having too many non-metal oxides in the atmosphere. So here we have our various sources. So we've, we've got some natural sources of nitrogen dioxide. We've got some anthropogenic, which means made by human sources down here, of pollutants into the atmosphere. So the gases, pollutants go in the atmosphere, mix with the water, and can either precipitate out, or they can settle down as what we call dry deposition, which when they get wet later on is also another problem. So the acid rain is basically a rain that has a pH or a, of less than 5 or a higher concentration of hydrogen ions or hydronium ions than normal. Generally, rain is slightly acidic, and that's because it has carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Normally, the carbon dioxide will be there. Um, and that is that produces carbonic acid, so it tends to be slightly acidic anyway. But other than that, we also have SOX and NOX in the air, so sulfur, sulfuric oxides and nitrous, uh, nitrogen oxides. We'll say that because nitrogen oxide means something specific. Um, so you've got sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen. They will turn it acidic, as well as sulfur trioxide. So here's the, the way it essentially works. Sulfur dioxide is oxidized with the oxygen in the air, okay, NOx is the same, and this gives us things like nitric acid or sulfuric acid, which then, as it precipitates out, adds extra hydro hydrogen ions and causes significant damage. So let's have a look at the formation. So we've got sulfur dioxide, which is a pollutant, it goes into the clouds, and once it's there, it reacts to make sulfurous acid, which is a weak acid. And that's not ideal, but it's not that bad. But then, ah, the sulfurous acid reacts with oxygen. And this makes sulfuric acid. And this is a strong acid. And this is more of a problem. Um, sulfur trioxide, now remember, sulfur dioxide goes into the air and it oxidizes with oxygen. So you'll have um, your SO2 uh, plus O2 gives you. Uh, SO3, we'll put a two, and a 2 there, and a 2 there. So that reaction occurs, and then the sulfur trioxide will bond with the water and give you a strong sulfuric acid, and that's a problem too. So, so the SOX in the air that we can see is already a problem. The NOx is also an issue. Um, now remember, nitri nitric oxide... Uh, reacts with the oxygen in the air to give you um, NO2. And if we balance that, that means we've got to put a 2 there and a 2 there. Um, so the nitrogen dioxide, which is the pollutant, will react with the water in the clouds, and this will give you weak nitrous acid and strong nitric acid. However, there is a second step. The weak nitri nitrous acid will also act with oxygen and will give you even more strong nitrous acid, uh, nitric acid. So what you'll see, if we add this up, from this reactant here, we'll end up with three, there's one, and there's two, nitric acids. And that's a problem. Um, so what are the effects of acid rain? Is it a big deal? Well, yeah, it, it affects the acidity of lakes. Now, if you're an aquatic species, some aquatic... Now, water, as we know, is an excellent buffer. Sorry, natural water systems are excellent buffers because of the carbonic acid in there. But they can only take so much. So if the rain is too acidic, then eventually it will override that buffer system. Um, if you're a fish, this is bad. If you're a frog, it's even worse because you're just a bit more susceptible. That's why frogs are called an indicator species. Um, there'll be lots of damage to local um, forest areas, um, plants will lose leaves. This is not such a huge problem in Australia, but this is a big problem in North America and Europe. And then you put the chemical weathering and erosion of stone. Yes, this will affect how our statues and, and metal structures and that are going to look as they react with acids, but it'll also erode natural surfaces like cliffs and, and um, well, no, rocks. Anything made of rock will, particularly limestones or whatever, the uh, sandstones are really, really susceptible to this, and that can damage natural formations, which will then damage natural um, ecosystems. 
So if it's also damaged soils, it will change the um, one it'll dissolve all the, the sulfur and the nitrogen into the soil. Sulfur's not ideal. Um, it'll also it'll also raise the uh, sorry lower the the pH of the soil, and so that's bad for plants in general. Here is a statue that once had a face, and this is the effect of um, acid rain on um, on a limestone. Then this is a forest that has been affected by acid rain. This is a forest from North America. And again, we see our indicator species start to die in the presence of acid rain. Um, so I hope that wasn't too depressing and I hope it made sense. And yeah, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. Bye now.